Yellowstone National Park has once again become the center of scientific attention after a series of geological events occurred almost simultaneously within a short period of time. Hundreds of earthquakes with an average magnitude of 3.9 shook the Yellowstone caldera region, followed by a significant surge in magma volume beneath the caldera. In close proximity, Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser, erupted violently, followed by the emergence of a new thermal area indicating a drastic increase in hydrothermal activity. These four events form an unusual and interconnected pattern, prompting scientists to investigate the interconnectedness and potential for greater geological risk in the region. Since the beginning of this week, more than 300 shallow earthquakes with an average magnitude of 3.9 have been recorded in the Yellowstone caldera region. Although Yellowstone is known for its high seismic activity, the intensity and consistency of the tremors over such a short period of time raises concerns. More concerning, some of these earthquakes occurred in very tight clusters within less than an hour known as swarms which, in the Yellowstone context, are often associated with the movement of hot fluids or pressure from below. Researchers from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory YVO, are currently analyzing whether these earthquakes are the result of magma intrusion, the pushing of fresh magma from deep into Yellowstone's shallow magma chamber. Such intrusions don't always lead to eruptions, but they can drastically change the pressure and temperature conditions below the surface, much like shaking a closed container of boiling water. Along with these earthquakes, GPS and satellite interferometry INSAR data, indicate vertical ground pixelation, a rise in the Earth's surface at the center of the Yellowstone caldera. Seismic measurements and magma chamber modeling suggest the injection of new magma from intermediate depths into the lower magma chamber, intensifying the subsurface pressure. This phenomenon not only underscores the complex geological dynamics occurring beneath Yellowstone, but also raises an important question. Is this supervolcano showing early signs of greater activity? Scientists note that the injection of magma into the lower magma chamber can accelerate the accumulation of internal pressure. This can ultimately trigger crustal deformation, increasing the likelihood of hydrothermal activity and even minor earthquakes in response to this pressure redistribution. The Steamboat Geyser eruption, which occurred shortly after the 200th major earthquake, marked one of the most powerful explosions in recent years. The eruption lasted longer and spewed hot water and steam more than 93 meters, accompanied by an unusual underground rumbling. This phenomenon immediately caught the attention of geologists and volcanologists, not only because of its extraordinary intensity, but also because of its timing, coinciding with increased seismic activity in the Yellowstone region. The relationship between earthquakes and geyser eruptions has long been studied, but this case suggests a more complex link. Yellowstone is home to the world's largest hydrothermal system, and Steamboat Geyser is one of the most extreme manifestations of the geothermal energy stored beneath it. Geyser activity is typically triggered by pressure from steam and hot water trapped in narrow underground channels, which are then suddenly released. However, this latest eruption reveals changes in pressure and temperature at greater depths, indicating that Yellowstone's hydrothermal system is undergoing a stress response to subsurface changes, such as the migration of hot fluids or increased magmatic pressure from within the Earth's crust. 
the underground rumbling sounds that accompanied the eruption added to the uniqueness of this event. Some researchers suspect that the sounds are the result of resonance within an expanding underground steam cavity, or even vibrations in rock fractures caused by the rising pressure of hot fluids from the magma chamber. It's like hearing the Earth breathing, said one researcher from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. These vibrations suggest that the underground system is adapting to major changes. But most surprising of all the activity, the Yellowstone geology team also discovered the formation of a new thermal area on the northwest side of the caldera. Temperature sensors recorded a sudden noise, and local vegetation showed signs of damage from exposure to the sudden heat from underground. Gas measurements showed a significant increase in CO2 and H2S emissions, gases characteristic of active hydrothermal systems. This discovery marks a dramatic change in the Yellowstone landscape, which has long been considered one of the most stable ecosystems in the world. The new thermal area not only provides clear evidence that geothermal energy beneath the surface is constantly moving and changing, but also warns of potential risks that may be developing more rapidly than expected. Scientists are now focused on finding a causal link between these four events. Initial hypotheses suggest that accumulated magma pressure beneath the caldera likely acted as the initial trigger, causing a series of earthquakes in response to the release of pressure. These seismic vibrations then interacted with the hydrothermal system, triggering the eruption of steamboat geyser, which is sensitive to pressure and temperature changes. Furthermore, the migration of heat and gas may have opened new pathways in the shallow crust, creating a new active thermal area at the surface. Dr. Elaine Patterson, a volcanologist with the USGS, stated, Activity occurring in such sequence and close proximity is extremely rare. This could reflect that Yellowstone's magmatic and hydrothermal systems are undergoing a transient phase that we don't yet fully understand. The four simultaneous geologic events at Yellowstone, a series of earthquakes, an increase in magma volume, a large geyser eruption, and the activation of a new thermal area provide important signals about the complexity of Yellowstone's geothermal system. While there is no immediate indication of an imminent major volcanic eruption, these phenomena reinforce the importance of continuous monitoring and a deep understanding of the relationship between magmatic and hydrothermal activity beneath one of the world's most active supervolcanoes.